Hi guys, it's your girl Jasmine Little and my big little brother Muna. Hi guys, would you like to equip your kids with skills that will enable them with the ability to earn money here in Canada and ultimately become financially independent? Well, here are 10 skill sets and tips that will enable your child to become financially independent. You can also equip yourself with these skills because it's a very good way to make some money. Skill number one, cloth mending. When we first immigrated, I had this beautiful dress, but somehow the zipper got bad. My mom searched up dress menders in Calgary, and she soon realized that sometimes the cost of mending the dress can cost more than the dress itself. It's weird, but it's true. The average cost of getting your cloth mended here in Canada is from $45 to $150 and more. My mom researched into this aspect of living and did a course on cloth mending in order to reduce the overall family expense and also to learn a new skill. So while you're still in your home country, why don't you call up that tailor and get yourself and your kids a crash course in cloth mending. Skill number two, hair braiding. The average cost of braiding one's hair in Canada can cost from $100 to $250, depending on your style and of course your location. Wow, $250? Well, yeah. Locticians for dreads are also in very high demand if you're into that sort of thing. What's a loctician? They lock in your dreads, get it? Wow. This also involves having to drive to location, and depending on the amount of customers they have, you might have to wait in line for a very long time. Please note that home services can be very expensive. If you're a mom or you have siblings and you know how to braid hair, that's one less expense coming out of your pocket. Plus, you can turn it into a business, which is what today's topic is all about. Our next tip is beaded jewelry making. My friend from India learned how to make beaded jewelry, such as bracelets, necklaces, and anklets. And she was doing it for fun, but soon she realized that people really liked her beaded jewelry. So she started selling them to family and friends, and soon started putting up her work online. So, while you're still in your home country, you can get started making beaded jewelry, or even stock up on beads that are unique to your country. You can search up some beaded jewelry from Nigeria, for instance. The kind of beads we have are really special and they look amazing. So while you're still in your home country, you can stock up on the kind you have or start making them right away. Babysitting. This is another way your older child can earn money here in Canada. Here in Canada, the rules are very strict about child protection and leaving kids unsupervised, which is why for parents, it could be vital to be able to find a certified babysitter since due to most parents' lifestyles, both parents need to go to work. Yes, usually you must be at least 12 years and older to be able to become a certified babysitter. And you can get more than $20 an hour depending on the number of children you are babysitting. Hold on. That's like $3 a minute. Oh, I'm yeah. up. <laughs> That's true. So while you're still in your home country, why don't you check out websites like childsafecanada.com and redcross.com or attend first aid classes so that when you come to Canada, it'll be easier for you to sit for the babysitter's exam. There, you'll need to be able to do CPR and many other things in case something bad happens during your babysitting. Tutoring. Is your child skilled in an art form or are they really gifted in something? I and my sister have taken ABRSM exams for the piano and we are considering tutoring some of our friends and other people who are interested in learning. Like our neighbors. So if your child is a chess prodigy or maybe just super good at the saxophone, maybe they can consider tutoring other kids, maybe neighbors and friends who are interested in learning. That's a one great way to transfer these skills your child has learned and also make some money from it. So while you're still in your home country, why don't you get your kids to brush up on these skills? Another way you and your children can earn money in Canada is by starting a YouTube channel. The beautiful thing about starting a YouTube channel is that anyone can start one, anywhere. We started a YouTube channel as a way to show our Canadian journey and help fellow immigrants along the way. Plus, it's a win-win because not only do you get to put out content, but you also learn valuable skills like communication skills, research skills, use of different applications, and public speaking. Not only that, but you can also learn, earn some money too. So while you're still in your home country, 
You can start making YouTube videos and, and get family and friends to subscribe so that while you're still in your home country, you're building up a subscriber base. That's very important. That way, when you get to Canada, you can continue right from where you left off. Cutting hair. This is a way you and your children can earn money here in Canada. The average cost of getting your hair cut here in Canada is $20 for children and $30 for adults. Depending on your location. Some immigrant parents usually take up the task of cutting their kids' hair. My mom or dad sometimes cut my brother's hair. And sometimes they do a horrible job. Please be aware that as your child becomes a teenager, they might not want their parents to cut their hair anymore. Yes, we have a rough to protect. So if your child has a friend who doesn't want their mom or dad to cut their hair anymore, your child can, can cut their hair for them and earn a little extra pocket money by doing so. We advise your child to give a free haircut to prospective customers, to like friends and family, just to show that you can give a pretty good haircut. Yeah, and you can ask your mom or dad to advertise for you on their WhatsApp chat groups. Another way you can earn money in Canada is through taking pictures. Every country has its unique landscape and scenery, and one of the great things about living in Canada is the diversity and the cultures of all the people living here. One of the best ways to do this is by taking pictures. Back in our home country, we have a lot of festivals. Here are some of them. The New Yam Festival. This is one of my favorites. It's very beautiful. You should definitely see it. And the next one is the Masquerade Festival same thing so while you're still in your home country you can get started taking pictures because stuff like the new yam festival you wouldn't see that sort of thing in canada so before you immigrate to canada you should start taking pictures of the unique and beautiful scenery in your home country because people in canada would be really interested to see things like that and people from all over the world it's a great way to show off what makes your country unique and there's a great way to make money from doing so which is by selling your pictures. Well, how do I even do that? The next tip, we'll show you how. Now, how to sell your pictures online. There are several websites that are dedicated to helping people like you and my sister upload and sell their art online. Other people can see and buy their art. I currently use a site called Pope, where you can put up your photos online. Other people can see your photos, rate your photos out of five stars, and even buy your photos if they really like them. I've just started on Canva too. I usually make our YouTube thumbnails, and some creators might not have time to make up a fresh template, which is why people like me and other people who know how to use Canva or want to try out something new can start making Canva templates and sell them on sites like Etsy where you can buy and sell all sorts of things. So while you're still in your home country, why don't you encourage your child to familiarize themselves with these sites and learn a new skill that they can use to make money in Canada. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash the notification bell. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.